The easiest salad dressing in the world is vinaigrette. I'm gonna show you how to make one today. This is literally the only tool you need besides maybe like a scooper or a spoon or something. So this is gonna be a really simple vinaigrette. Uh, it's one I love for its simplicity, yet it's still super flavorful. So into this vinaigrette, we're going to put a little bit of lemon zest, you get it into the jar. We're going to add some raw shallots. In we go. And these, you know, you might be opposed to raw shallots, but we're gonna let this dressing sit for a few minutes so that it mellows those shallots out and they won't be nearly as strong or hard on your stomach. The acid in the vinaigrette essentially is going to cook them. Got a little bit of lemon juice here and a little bit of uh, olive oil. Remember the ratio, the basic ratio for a vinaigrette is three parts oil, one part acid. So we're gonna add our three parts of oil and it goes. Ta-da. Blink. And our one part acid. So this is gonna be a really fresh, bright, lemony dressing. And now we're gonna add two of our most important ingredients, a little pepper, just because it adds something nice to it. And then we're gonna add salt. Now this is where your personal preference comes into action. Like if you like a lot of salt, you wanna be generous. If you don't like a lot of salt, don't be generous. But one thing about vinaigrette that's really great is we're gonna add a small amount of salt, shake it up, and then taste it. And we're gonna decide if it needs more salt. So we're gonna add just a good pinch. This is about probably a little over a quarter teaspoon. Remember this, this dressing, the salt in this dressing needs to coat all of your vegetables. And so when you're salting your vinaigrette, it's important to remember, like if you taste it and you're like, oh God, this is super salty. Like it may legitimately be too salty, but also remember that like, you're not gonna be eating it by the spoonful. Like you're gonna have a very thin film of, on it, film of it on all the vegetables in your salad. Alrighty, let's give it a shake. We're gonna seal up our jar and we're just gonna do this. Ta-da, <laughs> it's done. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a shake. Like I said earlier in the lesson, this will continue to separate. Like if you let it sit there, like it's gonna separate. There's nothing to be done about it. You have to shake it before you use it. But we're going to give it a quick taste to see if it needs more salt. Shake, shake. Let's taste you. Boop. In here. Definitely needs more salt. Oh my God, that's good though. It's super bright. It's super tart. The lemon, the lemon juice makes it really tart, but the lemon zest makes it more lemony without adding extra acid. It gives it kind of like a floral lemoniness. Give it another shake. Shake, shake, shake. Do a little dance if you want. Make it interesting. Because really it's so fast and so easy, you know, adding a little interest is, is fun. So let's taste it again. I'm going to add even more salt. So at this point we're about a half a teaspoon in. I'm going to add another quarter teaspoon. And the key to salting vinaigrette is you want it to be salty enough that you're like, oh, okay, no, that's salty enough, right? Like if this doesn't hit that zing, that like, ooh, salty, it's perfectly salty, then it's sure as hell not gonna salt your salad enough. Give it another shake, taste it again. And I'm doing this slowly because I wanna illustrate a point, right? If you dump a bunch of salt in there, like the only way to reverse that is to just add more fat and more acid, right? To basically like dilute the salt with more salad dressing. Still needs even more salt. The thing about fat and acid is that they tend to like eat salt, if that makes sense, right? So like they will like swallow up salty flavors. And so the salt is really competing for market share on your palate, right? Between the salt and the acid or between the fat and the acid. So you may have to salt your vinaigrette a little bit more than you'd expect just to get like a base level of saltiness where you can actually taste the salt. So I think we've added three quarters of a teaspoon now, maybe a teaspoon. That's I would say probably closer to uh, three quarters of a teaspoon. I don't think we've added a whole teaspoon yet. That's good. Perfectly salty. I think we're done.